very warm welcome to all in a series of lectures for estimation and costing as per the RTV quota syllabus subject code 6CE504 uh, 6CE405 okay so that is the unit one we almost covered up to approximate today we covered uh, that is detail estimate data required for the detail estimate steps and detail estimate factor affecting the cost of the project what document that you required okay. so in case of the approximate estimate that is the preliminary estimate which is required for sanctioning of any project now today we start detail uh, detailed estimate the detailed estimate is prepared by working out the quantities of a different item of work and then working out the cost by multiplying the quantities by their respective rates. The unit quantity method is followed to prepare a detailed estimate where the rates per unit work of one item including profit are estimated first and a total cost for the item is calculated by multiplying the cost per unit of rate by the quantity of item. In detail estimate provision for any other expenses like contingencies, tools and plan, work charge establishment, etc. are added to the above cost to calculate the total amount required for a project completion. The procedure for the preparation of a detailed estimate are mainly divided into two parts. Number one, detail of a measurement of calculation of quantities. Number two, abstract of the estimated cost. So we discuss first details of the measurement and calculation of quantity. So, how you calculate various details and how you uh, maintain that in a tabulated manner so that ease of calculation is done. So, this is quantities are as well. The representative measurement for the dimension of all individual items involved in the whole work are taken off and drawing of the work and entered in a respective column of a standard measurement from which is described as following. The multiplying item wise respective dimension of the quantities of all the items are worked out in the measurement. So the detail of the measurement form is as following. That is column 1. You form a table where table containing 8 columns. That is column 1, well, item number, column 2, description of the work, number 3, numbers, number 4, length, number 5, width, number 6, height of depth, height of depth, number 7, quantities, and number 8, if you want to put any remark. Okay. Uh, next is the abstract. The cost of the each item is calculated by multiplying the quantities computed in the measurement from which a specific rate in a tabular form. So, for the abstract of estimated cost, we need again a tabular form. So that is contained 6 column, column number 1, item number, column number 2, description, column number 3, unit, column number 4, quantity, column number 5, rate and column number 6, amount. So if a percentage of 3 to 5 percent is added for the contingency as I discussed that whatever amount that you calculated in abstract form, you have to add 3 to 5 percent for contingency 
what is the contingency contingency is a pretty expenditure for any unforeseen expenditure due to the change in design change in change in rate it is a percentage of 2.0 to 2.5 percent is also added to meet expenditure of the work charge establishment as i earlier discussed what is work charge establishment before going to start any site that you have to you have to you required some people like site supervisor watchman etc that is work charge establishment. So the main function of the effect of the estimate is as following. Number one, the total estimated cost and the different item of the work required to complete project can be known. Basis on which percentage rate tender are called after excluding the amount for the contingency and work charge establishment, a part of a tender document and a contractor can arrive at his own rates from the schedule of work described in the description column. This is the basis on which bills are prepared for the payment. Comparative cost of the different item of work can be known. So next is the uh, data required for the detailed estimate. So what type of data are required for the detailed estimate? Number one, drawing specifications, rates and extending circulars. Now what is drawing? That is the quantity of various items are take off from the drawing menu, plans, section, elevation, and other relevant detail for the work that it has been mentioned that uh, what type of uh, detail of work that you want okay so that is mentioned in drawing specification the specification of the work describe the nature class workmanship method of preparation etc are required to calculate the various items specification is that what type of material uh, what type of uh, process that you want you want RNC concrete or you want that is simply mixed concrete that may be a specified work like what type of door window that uh, you can take what category of work that you want what type of work mentioned that you want that is the specification rate the rates of a different item of work are derived from a schedule of rate or the rate from the rate analysis as I will discuss earlier I have discussed that what is the schedule of rate Estimated cost is calculated by multiplying the rate with the quantities of various items. Next is the standing circular. The tax the prevailing at the locality of the work required to fix up rate of various. Now next is the step required for the details estimate. So we can say that for preparing a detailed estimate, there may be a five distinct steps that will conclude the work of the uh, detailed estimate. Number one, divide the whole project or work and the various items. Number two, divide the various item and group them under different subheads. Enter the details of measurement of each item of work in measurement from and calculate the total quantity of each of them after the quantities are taken off the numbers length area volume are estimated as entered in the last two columns of the measurement sheet finally the cost under the item of work is calculated from the quantities computed as work table rates the cost along with the rate are entered in the abstract form. Okay. After that, the expenditure towards the contingency, work establishment, tools and plants are added 
the estimated cost and total of this. This grand total gives you the detailed estimate of the work. Now, what factors affecting the cost of the project? There may be, I think, five factors which are affecting the, which are mainly affecting the cost of the project, which are number one, quantity of the material. For the large project, the quantity of material required is large and thus it can be procured at a lower price. As I earlier discussed to you that if you your demand is high, you have to purchase huge amount, then your price may be that is wholesale price. Availability of material. Suppose for the construction uh, of a road, you were, uh, for an earthwork of embankment, if your uh, material, that is soil, is available nearby site for the uh, embankment, then this will reduce the cost. Next, transportation of the material. As I earlier discussed that, if the transportation cost of the material is less than your estimation cost of this location of the site. If the site is located at the old place for which loading and unloading is taking and restricting the material are necessary for the several items. Thus, apart from the cost required by such operation, the possibility of damage or loss in a transit is more which affect the cost. I can say that for a uh, hilly region, at the place where having a geographical location is very worse at that place location. So this will increase the cost of the project. Next is the labor charges. The skill and the daily wages of the local labor affected the rate of the item. Next is document which is required for the detailed estimate. Number one, report on the design Number two, specifications, working drawing, that is plan, section, elevation, and other detail, design chart and calculation, that is particular of schedule of rate and rate analysis. So these are the documents which is required for this. So we will stop over here. You will discuss uh, this among group of your friends and please mention all your queries on your Google Classroom for that we can discuss. Thank you.